Hi, y'all. So I wanted to come and talk to you about Amazon, a warehouse position, which was my flexibility. Now, I can't speak for all of Amazon flex in a warehouse. When I was called a alpha associate, a A-L-F-A, I was basically sign. I was, I would basically sign up for, um, hours as I wish there was no cap on to how much I can earn or how many hours I can work per week or anything like that okay and I did have to just work at least one hour per month to stay active as a capital one associate um so kind of talking about this now if you are just watching this for the first time don't mind my dog do you guys know this is your first time watching Luna, Luna, yeah, I'm talking about you. She likes to be in the camera. Honey, honey, she just likes to follow Luna. And she's just a big baby. But Honey is the boss of the two. <laughs> and I've had her longer, of course. Okay, look at this, y'all. Like, seriously, I can't just do a video and not just have both of them by me okay there you go you want to go up there with hunt with luna okay she gets the toy okay good girl go you want to go too you can go go got rid of them all right so let's talk um so yeah they got rid of me well, not got rid of me. They got rid of, at my warehouse, I was at a um, delivery station. So I was there from November of 2018 through July, end of July, July of 2020. I loved it. I loved it. When I first started off, yes, I was just a, I was, I was a seasonal employee. Um, and then between like november and i think it was like february you know they switched us to, they asked me to switch my my current my schedule wasn't gonna work and they said do you want a different schedule you have to choose from a different schedule none of those schedules work amazon is not my primary job i have a full-time job so i was like uh i thought i was gonna have to leave but they said hey we have an alpha um a, a alpha associate program or option so i signed up for that and that's what i've been ever since they got rid of that recently in july uh so that's why my last day was july 30th per the paperwork <laughs> so kind of i just wanted to give you guys a rundown Yo, <laughs> they don't make no sense, no sense whatsoever. I'm sorry, y'all. I get interruptions like this constantly with these two girls, especially when I'm sitting down right here on the ground. But um, so let me kind of run back to you after that time frame, okay? I put in the application. I got my termination letter. I put in an application. They asked me, did I work at Amazon previously? Yes. What location did you work at? What till what date? Put that on the application. I think it was all within the same day or the following day. Um, I got an email saying, Hey, I see that you're basically you're trying to get rehired. We have to check on your status to see if you're rehirable. And I think that same day or the following day, I don't know, y'all. It was really fast. They let me know, hey, yes, you are eligible to be rehired. And the email had a link to go to the different jobs. Now, when I when I put in the application, the, the option was Amazon Warehouse slash Shopper. That's what the, the, the name of it was. So I was like, okay, I don't know what it is. I just want to try something different. So when I got that email saying I was rehirable and I can proceed to pick out what job I want, two only two things were coming up. They were both warehouses. 
I live in Richmond, Virginia. Um, the warehouse I previously worked at was in Richmond, Virginia as well. There's, but the email was giving me two options. One was in Ashland, Virginia, and the other one was in Richmond, Virginia. Now, the one in Ashland is not too far away, but you will still kind of have to get on the highway, which I don't want to do the highway. Um, if you guys don't know, Richmond, um, Virginia highways are just horrible with the traffic, okay? <laughs> horrible with the traffic. And I'm probably sure that's probably where, what happens everywhere else. But I have never driven to that one before. The other one that was showing up was Richmond, Virginia. Now, we have a couple different things in Richmond, Virginia. There's a newer warehouse, okay? A newer warehouse, which is like another delivery station, but it's a bigger one, brand new. And people work 10-hour shifts. And that was what that is what was coming up. Now, when you sign up, it tells you where the location will be, what your date, like you, you choose which shift you will be interested in, what days you'll be interested in working in. Like you, they'll have a drop down and maybe for the same place, but it will have different, like select your shift and days, which one will work best for you. And I have never driven to the Ashland one before, but I was like, I want to try the rich, the other Richmond one out because that one you will be basically working 10-hour shifts, so you're going to be eligible for health care. Now, if you don't know, backstory, my current full-time job, I feel like I'm done with it. I mean, I like my job, but at the same time, I feel like I've been there for eight years and I just want something different. Would it be a big pay cut? Yes, but... I'm not worried about the money. I just want to make sure I have enough money to, for my basic necessities for me and my son. I am a widow, and it's just me and my son. And this particular one will offer um, offer benefits, but it's 10-hour shifts. So anyways, I was like, you know what, Candace? Let's think about this. Let's see where this location is at. My previous warehouse was like 10 hours away, uh, 10 hours away, 10 minutes away. So this other one in Richmond, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia is huge. You know, there's like little, se there are sections to Richmond, Virginia. And I'm like, I plugged it in to the GPS and I was like, let me see where it's at. And then I'll go based off of that, right? So me and my two girls, <laughs> Luna and Honey, we took a ride and we had to get on the highway. It was like a 20, the traffic wasn't too bad, um, but I went, t not when people were getting off of work. Um, and the hours, it would be 10 hour shifts for one thing, but it was still like t a 23, 25 minute drive away. And I'm just like, what if I ever did get it tr stopped in traffic or whatever? And the hours that they that were available would not have been suitable for me. Honey, leave Luna alone. Honey is always instigating with Luna, trying to get her to play. Luna is like, uh, I'm a pro here. Let me shine. <laughs> He's such a good girl. Yeah, you are. You are. Okay, honey, you are too. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, you good girl too. Okay, you guys want to go? I'm just like on this little flat steer, and I just can't. I just can't. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's get back into it. So, the options that were available at this location was, because I, I know what, what I would be doing there. I would be doing the same thing I was doing at my other warehouse, but at this particular warehouse, because a lot of people from my warehouse went to this new one. Um, and it's basically the same thing, but the shifts are longer because you're basically doing everything versus, like, at my previous location... Some people would, the first shift would do one part, the second shift would do another, the third shift would do a different part. But with this 
other one, which is a 10 hour shift, it will be, you do everything basically, right? There's not like, I mean, there's still shifts, but you basically would do everything from start to finish for that shift. And then it, the next shift does the start to finish for that shift. That's basically what it is. And what I was seeing, and I'm like, oh, I may, I may be okay, but 10 hours is a lot for me, but it's not on the phones, <laughs> okay? Like for my full-time job, I work on the phone. So when I worked at Amazon, I never worked a 10-hour shift before. I usually did one-hour shifts, some three-hour shifts, some four-hour shifts here and there, but nothing like 10-hour shifts because needless to say, when you're on your feet, I don't care where you are, but especially when you're walking in a warehouse on concrete, your feet hurt, <laughs> okay? They hurt. And, um... So, yeah. So, anyways, when I looked at the... I know, I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. When I looked at the times and the dates that... I mean, there were, like, probably, like, seven, ten different offers for the same location, okay? But the hours and dates were... Di like, the days of the weeks were different. The hours were, weren't that much different because it is a ten-hour shift, so you can't really get that flexible with <laughs> the end and start date, the end, the bef your beginning and end shift time frame. So basically, on the dates, and a lot of them were Saturday, Sunday, Sunday through Wednesday, like uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. And a lot of those were would interfere with, um with some activities that I have. Um, and even though I'm doing all the activities from home, but like still, it would still interfere. Like I would have to get home to be uh, ready for my meetings and stuff like that. And money, Amazon, me working at Amazon is not about the money. It's more or less for, just for me to get out the house. Um, I don't need the extra income, but hey, I'll take it, right? Um, so yeah, so I kind of like, was like Candace, just put it aside, Amazon's always hiring, right now may not be the best time, so I didn't even sign up for that, even though I would have had healthcare, healthcare is a big thing for me, uh, if I want, if I do end up leaving my full-time job, I need to have a job that's going to have healthcare, so I put it off. I was like, nah. And the reason why I didn't even want to do the Ashland one is because my friend did work at the Ashland one. She liked it. it. Um, but it, I was just so used to my warehouse, the delivery station warehouse. The the one in Ashland is more like you're wrapping pallets and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't want to do any of that. So, And I think it was later on. Yeah, it was throughout the same day. I went back later on that day, and the options that were coming up were totally different. The Ashland Warehouse wasn't coming up. The New Richmond Warehouse wasn't coming up. The ones that were coming up were uh, the Prime Now, and I don't know what Prime Now is. I think it's kind of like Grubhub, not Grubhub. What's those, you know, like those um, where you shop for the person and you get their order ready? But it's more or less right in that store or right in that building. I don't consider, I don't know if it's like a warehouse. I don't know. And then the other one that was coming up was um, Whole Foods Shopper. Like, like, you know, Amazon and Whole Foods, they're together now, right? So I was like, wow, I don't really want to work in a store being around people because i'm like will the people stop me i don't think they would stop me to ask me questions but i just don't want to deal with customers right that's my whole thing i don't want to deal with no customers like if they ask me questions and stuff so i was like i don't want to do that but i'm like it would probably be fun but i just i don't know i just didn't want to do whole foods um so i was like looking at this prime now one and this prime now one is a flexible shift now it doesn't have health care it doesn't have health care at all but that's okay that's okay i have something else up my sleeves if i do want to leave my full-time job so 
always have to have a plan. <laughs> you guys always have to have a plan. Um, so yeah, I ended up, before I even put in for this Prime Now position that talked about flexible hours, like it says you could choose your hours. Um, and I don't know if the one at um, Whole Foods would have been, I think Whole Foods would have been like a scheduled shift. But this one here, it doesn't have any health care benefits for this position, which is okay. But I was like, before I say yeah to it, let me plug in the address to see where it's at. Because I don't know where this thing is at, right? I don't know what really Prime Now is. But I'm figuring that it has to do with somebody like grocery shopping for the customer. I don't know. So I plugged it in. And this thing's only like seven minutes away, y'all. Seven minutes away from my house. So it's even closer than my previous location. So I drove past it. It's like a, a building, like a one-story building. And I seen like... Um, an Amazon worker coming out bringing like the customer their bags to their car. So I'm thinking it's kind of like a grocery pickup. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, I said it's close by my house. The customers are out in the car, so they're not going to be in the store. It's not a store. I'm like, that kind of fits what I'm what I want. I don't want to deal with people. Like if I have to go to their car and they have to scan something, if I have to scan something, that's fine. But I just don't want to have that long interaction or be around. I, I don't know. I just want to work independently type of deal. And um, so yeah, I put in for it and then that was it. But that was my process. Like like, I know in the past, because one of my old Amazon, my old Amazon videos, they still get comments on there. You know, people still mention their experience and how they find my videos helpful. I, I mean, I like sharing my experience through everything. And, like, I shared my, the difference between being hired during the pandemic and not because I know... I did not know before when people were asking, oh, dude, are they drug testing right now? What's going on? And I'm like, I have no idea with the whole pandemic. I know things have, the everything has changed. And it was kind of nice to go back through this process during the pandemic. So when people ask questions, I can answer them. Um, so yeah, my first day will be August 18th. I will be... Well, let me, let me go back. Before August 18th, like a day or two before then, I will get another email to do my virtual orientation, which is just me watching like safety videos and things like that. And you, it should take you between three to four hours and it is paid, okay? It is paid. And then come August the 18th, I, uh, uh, which is a Tuesday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I will have two um, like days of learning about, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. And I will pick up my badge the first day. It does say to bring your ID with you, like your driver's license. So it can match, like they can make sure they're giving the ID to the right person or your, the badge to the right person. Um, but it's still casual wear. They say jean shorts, shirts, you know, um, clothes, clothes toed shoes so that still remains the same what else so the only difference between this is you have to work at least three three at least three shifts per month and the maximum you can work per week is 19 hours that's what the email said so I don't mind that. I think that is fine by me because I don't really plan on working too much <laughs> at at this place. Um, I, I just like to have some extra income and it's just for me to get out the house. But that's the difference because once again, with my alpha position in the warehouse, what they got rid of, I only had to work at least one shift per uh, month to stay active. And that one shift could be a one hour shift that comes available that just keeps you active. Uh, sometimes I did have out like 30 hours of uh, 30 minute shifts 
two. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I would work at maximum. The maximum I could work per week is nineteen hours. I have to work at least three shifts per month to stay active. So it still gives me the flexibility that I had before. Um, also, the attendance policy looks a little bit different. Now, this one says Prime Now LLC. So I don't know. It's not Amazon. It's Prime Now. So I guess there's a little bit difference there. The atten attendance policy looks different, which I, once I read into it that a little bit more, I will let you guys know. But it, it with the warehouse, it was point a point system, right? And that point system, you if you got up to 13 points, you were terminated. And it was like a point if you were late by five, like by more than five minutes, or if you missed your full shift, it was 1.5. Or the, I think it was 0.5 if you were late by like five, less than five or more than five minutes. Or if you missed half of your shift, it was like a one point. And then I think if you missed your whole shift, it was 1.5. Um, but once you got up to 13 within a 90 day calendar, like it drops off, it drops, it continues to drop off as those points hit 90 days or more, those points drop off. But this one says, what I was reading was within a month, like if you have like three call outs for the month, you're gone. So that's that. See, that's different right there. Um, but yeah, it says Prime Now LLC. I mean, obviously it's still Amazon, but it's different. You know, um, a different part of Amazon. It's not a warehouse. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for the 18th of August to see what's to come. And I will share with you guys my experience, like what, what it's all about really, because I'm going in there blind. I can watch the video. Um, there was a video like with the hiring um, video, like when, the one that we would have watched um, at the hiring event, they emailed it. Um, so I can rewatch that one. I didn't really watch it, uh, but I think I am just so I know what I'm kind of getting into. But I'm kind of happy it's something new. Um, I'm happy to be back at Amazon. I say anytime you leave a job, leave on good terms. You just never know if you want to go back. And this time, I didn't leave Amazon in the first place. They terminated my position. But just all together, like when I do plan on leaving my full-time job, I will leave on a good term because if I do want to be back, there's no reason for them to say no, you know, um, unless that position or job I apply for, they have other candidates and they're better than me. Um, but I just don't want it to be like, oh no, you left on bad terms. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to share with you. Um, me really not jumping right into something because I wanted another job. I wanted to be work I wanted to work with Amazon again knowing that this other job would have caused so much stress to me. I would have to travel further, which is not something I wanted. So it was just like take your time. Just don't jump into something if you know, if you're unsure. Now if you need the job, go for it. But like for me, I don't. And I just like with the two offers, original offers that were coming up, I just didn't want to do those. Um, and I'm happy. I stuck it out and I found something that will really work for me. I don't have a set schedule, which is something I really need because I deal with depression and some days are better than others. And this will give me that flexibility. Um, and that's what I like. So I'm kind of right back into that. But I'm really excited to share my experience about the Prime Now position. Um, and what it's all about in the upcoming week. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. Bye.